This morning I posted a video talking about how Assistant with Bard Gemini is officially live and it's got some cool stuff going on. Some of it's pretty cool, some of it's a little bit like, you know, rough around the edges. But in this video, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you how to very quickly soften one of those rough edges on Samsung devices. As you just saw on my Pixel Fold, if you long press the power button, Gemini is going to pop up and begin listening and it can take your command and all of that good stuff is going to happen from there. Of course, on a Samsung device, that's not how that's going to work because Bixby is going to try and hijack your power button or... You can change it to just be a power button, but neither one of these is going to trigger Gemini quite as beautifully as it does on the Pixel Fold, but that can be very, very easily fixed, and that's what we're going to do right now. All right, so if you want to get this kind of functionality where your power button is now going to trigger Google Gemini on your Samsung device of choice, this, of course, is my S23 Ultra. There are a couple of things that you must do. Step number one, go into your settings and we're gonna search for side key, which you can see I search for side there, or I guess it's side button, forgive me. And we're gonna change this from Wake Bixby to power off menu. The next thing you're going to do, if you don't already have good lock installed, you're gonna hop into the Galaxy Store and go ahead and install good lock. It's gonna look something like that. Get that application installed. Go ahead and launch it. At this point we're going to scroll down and look for Registar. You're probably gonna see a little download key like that. Click on that. You're gonna download that module. Come back to good lock and jump into Registar. At that point, side key, press and hold action, select that and change it to access your voice assistant. At that point, all you must do is jump into the Play Store and make sure that you have downloaded and installed Google Gemini. Once that's done and you've opened it up and you've set it up, it's gonna function exactly like you would expect it to when I went into the settings, I messed something up, I had to go back and fix it and now, yeah, like you can see, everything is working just fine. Now I do want to show you guys something so that maybe, you know, you're not going to be uh, too paranoid or uh, you know, freaked out about anything going on with this. This is my Z Fold 4 and for some reason Gemini is just, it'll probably function now that I'm filming it, but it's just not functioning yet. I'm getting this error, Gemini isn't available, but crazily here, if I come over here and bring up my Surface Duo 2, Gemini is fully functional. In fact, I can even say, hey, and it's going to pop up and work just fine. So there's no way that this device is intentionally supported and this device is not intentionally supported. This seems to be some sort of a bug and hopefully it'll get fixed sooner than later. I'm also seeing reports that Gemini will be expanded into other regions as soon as I believe Monday. Let me see if I can find that tweet real quick, actually. As you can see here, this individual is asking for this to roll out in India, and this individual, Jack, who works at Google, says that is coming Monday. And what I'm hearing is that uh, places in like Latin America, Africa, uh, Asia, Pacific, other parts of North America, uh, we should be seeing this coming next week. So that is awesome to hear. So there you go, guys. That should make Gemini work a lot better on your Samsung Galaxy device. Kind of funny that it's working on my Surface Duo 2, but not on my Z Fold 4. Something else that I want to mention that's odd is that I think a lot of people are, are kind of already realizing that some tasks are just better with Assistant, like the weather is quicker through Assistant than it is through Gemini, which is sort of just taking over for Assistant. But on my Surface Duo 2, you can do that swipe up from the corner and that triggers the old assistant because it's still there. So maybe on your device, there's like multiple ways to get into the assistant and it doesn't seem like Gemini is taking all of them. It does have the hot word and it does have the power button, but the corner swipe, if your device is old and still has that, that might still trigger the assistant. So that is kind of strange, but I don't know, might actually be good for some people. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.